Ito naman ang Asahi Super Drag. Asahi Breweries can trace back its history from the Osaka Beer Company established by Koma Kishitori in 1889 along with other investors. In the year 1891, construction was completed on the Suwita Mura Brewery which for the time was the first modern brewery in Japan. Using German brewing techniques, Osaka Beer Company was able to start production of the Asahi beer the following year. Then in 1933, after the Great Depression and the beginning stages of what we now know as World War II, the beer manufacturers in Japan decided to consolidate, market, and sell their products to avoid bankruptcy under the flag of Dai Nippon Breweries. Starting 1939 through 1949, price controls, product limitations, and distribution control mechanisms were established to make the beer markets more survivable for the brewers. Then in 1949, the beer cartel was abolished. The same year, Osaka Beer Company, now renamed as Asahi Breweries under the leadership of Tamesaburo Yamamoto, broke off on their own once again to set off and dominate the beer markets of Japan. Back then, they produced one type of beer, which was the Asahi Draft Beer, until the introduction of Asahi Gold in 1957. For a time, it was good. Then the 1980s came along with a new generation of drinkers and a new generation of taste. So Asahi Brewery introduced the Asahi Super Dry into the Japanese markets, boasting a crisp and clear taste that was unrivaled at the time. The rest, as they say, is history. A new taste, new product, and aggressive marketing campaign that included young women handing out free samples of the beer in the city streets, which was unheard of in conservative Japan, made it the number one selling beer in the country, boasting sales of up to 100 million cases. But they have also included other beer products into the market like Asahi Stout, Asahi Super Dry Black, and the Hojo, and many others. The company has so much faith in the product that it has set a target of increase sales by 10% every year until 2021. Then again, that's before COVID-19, so we'll see. So let's talk about beer specs. Asahi beer is what you can call a pale rice lager beer and the name suggests that it is brewed using the cold fermentation technique with rice being the primary ingredient. In addition to this, this is a super dry beer meaning it is fermented longer than the usual process. Uh, the sugar present in the mash can turn into alcohol resulting in a beer that has full strength and less carbs. Now let's go on the packaging. The label of the beer is a silver with text like brand name and other descriptive things that well describes the beer. It has not a lot of graphics or drawing and some would say it would be a little bit conservative. So why design it like that? It's actually a trick, you know. The silver clean label is there to subliminally suggest to the consumer that is cold, clean, and crisp. Imagine going through the beer section of the supermarket. Then you take a look at Kirin beer, for example. The label of Kirin, its color, its drawing, suggests in mind that it's a full-bodied and quite strong flavors. Well, when you look at this bottle with its metallic silver label, which suggests cold, clear, and crisp, which really describes the Asahi super dry taste. Para mas maayos natin ma-quantify ang review natin, we will divide this segment into four different categories, which is style, pricing, taste, and strength. All of which will be rated using a five-point system, five being the best, one being the worst, which will be then summed up to give it its total score. For styling, 
the, the acai beer has the typical slim and brown bottle. Again, this is to ensure that it doesn't ferment any further. And the labeling, as we talk about dun sa beer specs, wala naman din talaga masyadong special. It's really the, the conservative labeling which embodies the cold, clean, and crisp labels that na gusto ng employer ng asahi. Lahat ng kailangan information dito is actually written naman like any other beers. Palagay din dito like yung ABV niya which is 5% and kung saan siya manufactured, ano yung fermentation ferment, fermentation style na ginamit and yung mga ingredients sa sinabi, it's all written here. But as you can see, in other if you compare it with other bottles, yung may mga ibang bote, merong Mga, may mga naka-emboss na mga labels pa dito sa mga bote. But this one, it's all the bottle itself. Wala, wala nang, wala nang, wala nang cheche boreche. Itong bote na to could be recycled after drinking. So, wala, walang labels eh. So, if, if you're planning to brew on your own, <laughs> uh, you could get some asahi beer and recycle it for your own <laughs> bottles, beer bottles. Isa pang nakakatawang good na gustuhan ko dito, yung tansan niya. Um, when me and my brother opened our first bottle of uh, asahi, actually, ito lang yung tansa na nakita ko na hindi masyadong na-fold pag binuksan mo yung, yung, <laughs> yung tansa niya. Siguro yung metal na ginamit niya ito, gandinium alloy. Kung nerd kayo sa Gundam, kung alam niyo yun, alam niyo yung gandinium alloy. Matibay talaga yun. So, ma magandang klaseng tansa ito. Creativity-wise or character-wise, uh, sa wala akong masasabi sa kanya eh. Not so much eh. Parang it's really yung Japanese conservative type. Still give Asahi beer for, for styling 3.5 stars. So, pagdating sa pricing, Sahi Super Dry costs around 95 pesos per 330 ml sa 7-Eleven. That is what I would say na within the range of Kirin Ichiban, which is its brother Japanese beer. It puts it in the middle ground, I, I believe I'm in the middle of the pricing of imported beers. Again, I always like to think of it this way. Kung meron akong limang daan piso, ilan ang mabibili ko? Makakabili ako ng lima. Sa lima, magsishare ba ako sa lima? Posible. Pero baka hindi. Pero posible. Malalasing ba ako sa lima? Medyo. Siguro. Masasatisfy ba ako sa lima? Definitely. Yes. May uwi ako na Friday, bili ako ng limang ganyan, tapos inom lang ako, makatulog ako. Bakit hindi? That, that sounds like a good Friday night. As for what it is, it's an imported beer. Um, it's a number one beer in Japan, as they say. And then it costs 95 pesos here in the Philippines, and it's easily accessible sa 7-Eleven, which is a good thing, always a good thing. Um, I would give this a 4 out of 5. Taste. Cheers. Hmm. It's very light. The taste is very light. Hindi siya naka, hindi nakaka overpower yung flavor niya. It feels like it's something na siguro kung kumakain ako ng lunch or nasa buffet ako or somewhere na sandaan ako, mimiinom ako ng gato habang kumakain ako ng kanin or ng well, Lumpia Shanghai. <laughs> I say this is perfect for that. This is perfect for kasi yung taste niya, it's more of a palate cleanser yung taste niya kaysa sa ano, taste on its own. Oh, pumunta tayo sa Kirin. Medyo matapang yung lasa niya and if you look back to sa, sa pinag-usapan natin before. Medyo matapang yung lasa niya. And it becomes a taste on its own. Parang may, may hirap ngayon siyang bagay ng kahit ano. Ito, it, ito medyo, medyo neutral yung taste niya. Medyo, actually, medyo may tamis ng konti sa dulo. I think that's the rice. Kasi if you taste other rice-based um, beer, it kind of tastes a bit like that. Medyo matamis siya. I would say that this is a pretty good beer. It's good not because of the flavor. It's good because it's like a blank canvas na pwede mong bagayin ng kahit anong pagkain on the side. Which is always a good thing kapag uminom kayo ng tropa mo. Right? So for taste, I give it a 4 out of 5. So for Asahi beer, strength. My own bottle. <sighs> Kalahati na. As I said kanina, um, Asahi has a 5% ABV, uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, once inumin nyo to, it would immediately feel yung alcohol strength. But unlike any other beer, or kung sabi na natin, ipantay na lang natin siya sa mga ibang Japanese beer, like yung na, na try na natin before, which is Kirin, ito medyo suabi yung, ano niya, yung init niya sa, sa katawan mo, medyo refreshing. I would suggest kung halimbawa, you're in the beach or like now summer napaka okay siya sa pakiramdam like if, if it's ice cold tapos yung ganun yung ano niya yung mild na refreshing yung dating nung 
yung strength niya, yung alcohol strength niya. I would say, if you're gonna drink 5 to 6 bottle of this, it would enough na parang antukin ka. Uh, nung nasubukan namin ng kapatid ko to, uh, actually, nantok lang kami, hindi naman kami nalasing. Pero, uh, given na yung binigay ng kapatid ko na 4 stars, this is perfect for late night drinks at home habang nagre-relax ka before you go to bed. Dahil din sa presyo niya, hindi ka rin din talaga magpapakalasing dito. You drink it to for more of relaxation. Because of that, I'll give this uh, 4 stars for strength. Cheers! Cheers, man! Yeah. Okay yung, ano, yung itong asahi beer? Yeah! Um, yeah, for a Japanese beer. And again, I mean that in the best way possible. It's no foggy. <laughs> So, I know, that is the score. Yeah, okay. Alright, so, right. right. so, so that's the style. For styling, uh, 3.5 stars. Alright, so for pricing, I give it a 4. And for taste, I give it another 4. And for, la for lastly, for strength, it's uh, another 4 stars. In total, it's 15.5, I think. Yeah, yeah. So it five. means it's a tie with Kirin beer. Yeah. So, uh, alright, so. Yung so number two sila. Number two number sila. Number two sila ngayon. So we, we will, from, from now on we will call number two as the Yakuza. Because they're both <laughs> Japanese. And I mean that in the least <laughs> racist way possible. <laughs> Alright. So anyway, this was a good beer. I have no complaints about it. Well yeah. their their ranking will, will tell us. It's about. a good simple beer. Uh, actually not in in terms of taste, talagang yeah, yeah, yeah. yung normal yeah uh, pero I think it's really good for relaxation tanim yeah yeah and for yeah. if you're eating food if you're eating food oh. well, I think it's not much all right so anyway thank you for watching I'll see you next time thank you bye Please don't forget to subscribe liquor ban pa rin mayor baka naman promise we'll drink alone but anyway, don't forget to watch old videos and subscribe.